When the event stockpiles can be accessed, it may be appropriate to use expired equipment. Typically, expired equipment is not considered approved by NIOSH, but in contingency or crisis strategies, it may be necessary. It's important to inspect any expired equipment for damage or defects, and respirators should only be worn if a proper seal can be obtained. NIOSH recently initiated a study on expired N95 masks from various manufacturers, and while some masks continued to offer protection, others did not. Preliminary results are available on the CDC website and included in the resources section. Other strategies for PPE shortage include extended use or reuse of respirator masks. Extended use means the mask is worn during multiple consecutive patient encounters without removal. On the other hand, if a mask is used for multiple encounters and removed then replaced between encounters, that is considered reuse. The biggest risk is transfer of respiratory pathogens on the respirator surface via the wearer's hands. As such, extended use is favored over reuse because theoretically the equipment will be touched fewer times with extended use. Again, the decision to implement such strategies to conserve respirators during the pandemic should be made locally. A common question with extended use is exactly how long the mask can be used. In non-healthcare industries, N95 masks can be worn for up to eight hours, but there's no firm guidance on an hour limit for healthcare workers. Extended use may apply to respirators, face masks, or eye protection and should be considered if access to respirators or face masks is extremely limited, such as in a shortage, or when caring for patients with the same diagnosis. Gowns and gloves should be changed and hands should be washed between patients. You should limit touching the equipment and wash your hands if it must be adjusted. Also, try not to touch the equipment, but if it must be adjusted, wash your hands afterwards. And consider wearing cleanable or disposable face shields over respirators. Use time is likely dictated by hygienic or practical concerns, for example, if the mask must be discarded after getting visibly soiled. Consider wearing cleanable or disposable face shields over respirators. Again, consider wearing cleanable or disposable face shields over respirators. Reuse of a respirator should only be done by a single user. The CDC's recommendation is to discard a respirator when it no longer fits properly or becomes visibly contaminated after aerosol generating procedures and after close contact with patients with COVID-19. A maximum number of respirator reuse times has not been determined and it may vary by manufacturer. If you plan to reuse, be sure to don and doff correctly and practice good hand hygiene. If the face mask is to be reused, it should be placed in a designated storage area or breathable container such as a paper bag where it's safe for contamination and will not touch other masks. The maximum number of safe reuses is undetermined. A manufacturer may be able to provide guidance, so do check out their information. As a last resort, in other words, if there are no respirators left, the CDC states it may be necessary to use masks that are unapproved or homemade. Please continue to monitor the CDC and local health department websites for current information as the PPE situation continues to evolve.